A Philadelphia man is in critical condition tonight after being abducted, tied up, and burned in his own car. And now police say they believe he was targeted. Eyewitness News reporter David Spott is at Philadelphia's Special Victims Unit in Hunting Park tonight, where officials held a press conference late this afternoon. David. Hi, Yuki. This is a bizarre story, and this is a tragic story. Authorities say that the suspects, three suspects they are looking for, knew the victim in this case, but the details are horrific. That 34-year-old victim is currently in the hospital fighting with severe burns on his lower extremities. Authorities say the victim was walking near Benner and Harbison overnight in Wissanoming when he was abducted. He was taken to Westford Road in Olney in his own car, tied up, drenched in gasoline, then set on fire inside the car. Neighbors heard screams this morning. They called police. Police were on the scene. Authorities say after the abduction, the three suspects used the victim's cell phone, demanded $10,000 in cash from the victim's family. The man and handling the case here at Philadelphia Police Special Victims has decades of experience. He says without a question in this case, he believes the suspect knew the victims in this case. It's pretty horrible. It's, uh, I can tell you it's a horrific crime and it seems very personal. Uh, all three we're hearing were armed with guns, yet they use fire as a weapon. It seems pretty personal to me. Well, the suspects and victims knew each other in this case, but that does not mean Philadelphia police know the three who they were looking for. They're going to be looking at surveillance video. If the public has any information they want to hear from you, give Philadelphia police a call after all this victim in this case just leaving work when he was attacked. Gruesome details coming tonight from SVU. Reporting live, David Spunt, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Indeed, David, thank you. After